everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can charge your cell phone with a 9 volt battery. Because if you're like me, I'm sure you hate when you go out and there's no way to charge your phone and it dies. It usually dies right when you need it. So this is going to be a little quick fix for that. And it costs about $2. Now it's not going to work with everybody's phone, but I know it works with mine and it should work with every Samsung Galaxy phone. Um, if, you wanna, if you don't have a Samsung Galaxy and you want to try it anyhow, it'll only cost $2. So if it doesn't work, give it to somebody who has a Galaxy. <laughs> so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a car charger. And it's going to be... This, any cheap one will do. It, like I said, this is going to be a very cheap alternative to those $80 chargers that they sell that you carry with you. So, one of these. I got it from a dollar store. You can get yours from wherever you want, but like I said, make it as cheap as possible. As long as it's a car USB charger, it's going to be fine. And you're going to need an eyeball battery. I also got these from the dollar store. So again, this is only costing me $2. And you're going to have to have one of these chargers on your phone. You're going to have to have a USB charger plug for your phone for it to work. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the car charger and you're going to bust the case open. Now, when you bust the case open, it's going to look just like this. Okay. So now there's going to be pieces in here that you do not need. You're going to take this fuse out and there's going to be a little topper on it too, but I already took that off. So all of this stuff is garbage. You don't need any of this. All, and you don't need these little metal um, pins for the car either. All you're going to need is the circuit board and the actual USB piece to it. And it's going to just look like this. There's going to be a little spring connected to the board. And there's also going to be a wire. Mine is red. Yours may be black. But there's going to be a wire and a spring. Now, here's what you're going to do. And I'm just going to show you. I'm actually going to plug my cell phone into it so that you can see. How it works. So, plugging my cell phone into the port, and here's my phone. So I'm just going to plug this into the battery compartment. Now, here's how you're going to connect it to the 9 volt battery. As you can see, one side of the 9 volt battery is negative, one side is a positive. There's going to be a minus and a plus. So now on the minus, you're going to take that wire that we talked about before, and what I find works better is if you strip a little bit of the plastic off the wire so that the actual wire itself is exposed. The wire part is going to go on negative, which is going to be this little octagon up on top of the 9 volt. So that is going to go in here. And what I do is I like to wrap it, actually take it, strip enough of it where you can wrap it around this piece so it stays in place. Now, when you when this part goes in here, obviously the only other part that's left is this spring. And this spring is going to touch down onto the positive side. And I'll actually show you here with my phone. And you can see it's all the same wire here. It's, there's no trickery going on here. When I touch this onto here, first of all, you're going to see when I touch it on here, the, the um, this little LED right here, is going to turn on. That's going to tell you that the power is flowing. And you can see my phone is actually being charged right now. Um, so obviously you're not going to sit here and hold the wire and the spring onto the battery. So what I did was I made this little cigarette pack right here, which somebody else gave me, so this didn't cost me anything. And I just cut a little hole right here, just enough for this to fit into. So what you're going to do is you're going to just push this down in there. Um, if you want, you can actually tape this into place. Um, and then why I chose a cigarette pack, you can use any little small box. But why I chose a cigarette pack is when you're just carrying it around, you can actually keep your, charge, your little circuit board. You can keep your battery. And you can actually keep two batteries in here if you put them in sideways. So this way, if you just want to keep this in your pocket or your backpack or whatever, you're set to go and you have two batteries in there that you can use later on. So that's basically it. And like I said, all of this stuff here, all of the extra pieces you don't need, you can throw them out. Um, so yeah, just again, I just wanted to reiterate. 
it's not gonna work with everybody's phone but it only costs two dollars so if you want to try it's definitely a better alternative than paying 60 80 120 dollars for a portable charger from the cell people because it's a ripple so i hope you like this video if you know anybody who can use this because i love when people can save some money um pass it along to them and like i said it only costs two dollars so if it doesn't work you lost two dollars i'm sorry <laughs> But um, I hope it does work for you. It works for me. And uh, it's perfect for emergencies. It's perfect when you're traveling, when you're camping, when you can't get somewhere that you can actually charge your phone. It's perfect. So, like I said, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please rate my video and comment in the bottom. Let me know if it works for your phone, what phone it doesn't work for. If you have a phone that it doesn't work for, please list it on the bottom so other people don't waste their time. Um, and that's it. Like I said, I hope you like my video and rate it even if you hate it. <laughs> Bye guys.